Welcome to the complete ethical hacking and penetration testing course. Now, even though you don't have any previous knowledge about ethical hacking, you'll learn everything you're ever going to need to know about ethical hacking from scratch. You'll start as a beginner and you'll see the most basic information, including the fundamentals of IT networking. And by the end of the course, you'll be ready to start your penetration tester career. Now, my objective is to teach you ethical hacking full of hands-on demos and practices. However, I also want you to learn why you're doing all these things and what is happening behind the scenes. So I'll be talking a lot about the terminology and the philosophy of the subject first. You'll be able to make all of the hands-on practices of the attacks on your own computer, even including the network layer attacks. At the beginning of the course, you'll be setting up your own laboratory so that you can use that throughout the course, install all the necessary virtual machines and software, everything that we're going to use. These are the main sections of the comprehensive course. So let's see what we'll learn in each section briefly. At the very beginning of the course, I like to start with setting up the laboratory. So we're going to be ready for the course and for all of the hands-on practices we're going to do. We're going to use a virtualization platform such as Oracle VirtualBox or VMware Player. We'll install the attacker system first, Kali. No worries, you're going to learn what Kali is soon. Then we'll create a couple of victim devices and test to see if all of the virtual machines are connected to each other. The second section is the introduction of penetration testing. In this section, you're going to see what exactly penetration testing, or for short, pen test, really is. The meaning of the main terminologies, asset, threat, vulnerability, risk, etc. Pen test approaches, pen test phases, and all of the legal issues. The content of the next section, Network Scan and Vulnerability Scan, are as follows. Find out the computer systems in a network. Discover the network topology. Detect the open ports of the systems. Detect the versions of the services running on those ports. Detect the operating systems running on the devices and find and assess the vulnerabilities that exist on those devices. The next section is gaining access and beyond. In other words, exploitation and post-exploitation. And the following are what we'll learn in this section. Exploitation terminologies such as vulnerability, exploit, and payload. Exploit databases. Tools to exploit vulnerabilities. Metasploit as an exploitation and post-exploitation tool. Pass the hash method to compromise a Windows system with no vulnerability. Post-exploitation using Metasploit framework. And how to crack password hashes. How to collect sensitive data from end-user systems. The open source intelligence and information gathering is the section where you're going to learn the types and methods of information gathering, the classic information gathering methods such as who is and banners, how to use search engines to gather information, how to gather information about the people who are related to the target company, and how to find more from the archives and the tools to help you to collect the valuable information about the target company. In the Hacking Web Application section, first, we will be prepared for the course and talk about some technologies and standards used in web applications. Then, we're going to learn how to collect information about the website. We collect everything we find and try to use them to hack the app. While discovering the website, we analyze the configurations of the mechanisms used. The vulnerabilities and attack methods are classified according to OWASP. OWASP is Open Web Application Security Project, 
and one of the most important communities about the application security. We manipulate inputs and push the application to produce unexpected outputs. Then we compromise the authorization, authentication, and session management mechanisms of the application. The social engineering section is where we're going to use human weaknesses together with the weaknesses of the IT systems. And you're going to learn the following about social engineering, the terminologies and definitions, basic techniques, the types and the steps of social engineering attacks, how to bypass security measures, how to create malware, how to create custom payloads to use inside the malware, how to embed the malicious code into documents, the social engineering toolkit, and social engineering via phone, also known as vishing. The next section is the network fundamentals. Since the course aims to teach penetration testing and ethical hacking from scratch, you should know about the main principles of networking. If you're good at networking already, you can skip this section. You'll learn the TCP IP model, the network layer, transport layer, IP, TCP, UDP, Ethernet, LANs, VLANs, wireless LANs, and many more in this section. In the network layer and layer 2 attack section, you're going to learn sniffing the network and gathering information from the network. Then, we'll see some attacks and techniques to expand the sniffing surface. MAC address table overflow attack, also known as MAC flooding. ARP cache poisoning attack, also known as ARP spoof. DHCP starvation attack and DHCP spoof and VLAN hopping techniques. And then we'll see what else we can do on network layers in a pen test, cracking passwords of the communication channels, compromising SNMP, and all of that.